I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Julie McKnight responds to Brian McKnight's comments about their sons. Hello, my IG family. Um, First and foremost, I have to give so much love to everyone who has sent so many positive vibes, messages to myself, um, my children in light of the horrible comments that were brought to my attention today um, in reference to so many things that should just be done with from the past. Hi, all y'all coming in. If I'm not able to just give hugs and waves to all of you, um, I see you and I appreciate you being here and I appreciate the support that you've given me. Those of you who do follow me, you know how I strive to live within a space of positivity. I try daily to make a conscious effort to remain in that space because outside of that isn't a happy place to be. Um, Physically, mentally, spiritually, it's better for me to be in a space where I make sure that the joy is what's around me because I have so much to be thankful for, so many things that I'm grateful for. And I know the way the devil works and I know that in those times where blessings, where blessings are bountiful, he likes to creep in and he likes to use things that he feels will touch parts of you, touch parts of you to bring you out of a space where your energy is brought to a lower vibration, lower level, because then you're no longer able to continue on a path where you are okay. That day and that time and that moment and in those seconds, it will and has has been and will forever be in reference to my children. As I'm sure most mamas are, as I'm sure most daddies are. And at some point, it's just enough. It's just enough. And it has to be clear that, and hopefully it can help some other folk who might be dealing with situations where there's a constant gnaw of ridiculousness that's trying to get its way, almost like a rat that knows there's food on the other side that will nourish every part of them because they're not getting it. And with this situation, it's attention. So that rat just keeps digging and it keeps digging and it chews through wires and it chews through holes in any way it can find an end to hopefully get into your space, snatch everything so you can go running through the house and try to hit it with a broom. That's what their intent is. I want you just as I daily am trying my best to do is to find those spaces where you don't allow that into your space. And I know there's some that's going to say, well, you're addressing it now. Why? Because he said something about you. I have the things that have been said about me. You would not believe the things that could be said. Be sure to like share and subscribe point of it is nothing i don't want to draw attention to anything and if i ever do it is only to help if there's someone who's in a situation who feels like they're being just pushed pushed prodded probed This is that type of situation where everything, of course, in me wants to run amok (laughs) through every street in this city and that city and the other city and just, and that would do what? The point at the end of every negative situation 
whether it's an illness, whether it's a fool that you have to deal with because they keep entering your life when you are no longer giving any more energy to it. It's to only keep you down to where they thought they had you because they knew that they were the author of an extreme situation emotionally, mentally. And they're no good at not being the center of that attention anymore. So when everybody pulls that away, it's like a kid who throws a tantrum. I'm not gonna do I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna raise up, I'm gonna lay my voice is gonna get louder until I end up on the ground kicking and screaming and, and then I'm gonna show you that, you know, I got you. No, no. You continue to stay in that space that keeps you cool. And I'm telling you this from experience because this is a time where I do understand that things can hit here. And at this point, on a day like today, it's here. <laughs> so it's beneficial to kind of bring it in a space that makes sense again, which leads me to this. That's all I'm going to give that. I just wanted to thank y'all so much. But on the other side, and this makes me happy and excited, um, most, a lot of the comments and a lot of the DMs I've gotten today and the virtual hugs and everything I've received at the end of most of them is when is the book coming out? And I'll tell you this, the book is done um, those of you have been that may have been or may not have been keeping up with my family. We've had a lot of things that have been going on, which brought the book a little further back because some things are just a little more important than the time I had wanted to give and to meet with you guys at different bookstores and to sit and answer your questions and to, you know, spend the time with you to keep building this mama bear tribe. And I give so much love to you papa bears who have come to me and have shown me strong, wonderful, amazing, respectful men who are raising their children, supporting the moms who are not allowing the negativity from either side of any situation to keep you from being there in your children's lives along with their moms. I applaud you and I love you and I thank you for that. So, as I've said, Mama Bear is done. <laughs> and, and I had to finally put it down so I wouldn't keep reading it. I wouldn't keep reading it. And as I've said before, it was extremely painful to write extremely painful. I went through my journal and there were things that I had total mental blocks about because they were so painful for me. There were things that my sons had no idea about. There were things that I thought I was hiding from them in reference to the toxicity that was looming through my home until we were asked to leave. And I didn't realize, which was helpful for me, and which I would like to pass on to some moms and dads, that as adults, my sons were telling me, we did know, we wish we could have had conversations with you about it. We needed more communication, even within me trying to protect them. That's what we do. But I didn't look ahead to say how the life we were living in would affect them as adults in relationships they would have, in their day-to-day, -day, in things inside that they needed to deal with that they weren't able to process because I was keeping things a secret from the press and the public and, you know, keeping my home safe and my home under wraps as to not embarrass, you know, their father and his image. Um, that was the loyalty. But aside from that, back to the book, she's coming pre-release and you all hold me to this and I am making you all keep me accountable because I know that life happens. But Mama Bear, pre-order, Mother's Day. Again, not a dig for my daddies. It's just what this is. And you will be able to do that. I will have an entirely separate 
page and forum where you guys can come and we can talk to each other like this. We can share different things. Everybody has a thing and we're here to be able to help each other and support each other. And, our, you know, my sons are also working in an arena where they want to talk to kids. They want to talk to children in these situations where they can also share. You know, they're in their 30s now. And I'm so proud of them. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so proud of them. And I'll tell you another thing. Like we say down here in North Cacalac, I'll tell you another father. I am so proud to have raised these men. I am so proud to have raised these men that God allowed me me knowing that I wouldn't get everything right but he allowed me to raise them and he allowed us to be in a space where yes I did have the helms to raise them predominantly on my own with the help of my family with the help of my friends with the help of my community I'm so glad we had that tribe and I want others to feel that and that's what we're here to do we're not here to gossip we're not here to keep things rolling and keep things a mess we're j we're not and that has been made clear by the fact that you just really haven't heard much have you <laughs> and that's okay my life and the life I want all of us to be welcomed in and a life I want all of us to share is as simple for me as sitting in front of my rose bushes, going in the house, eat a piece of salmon and some broccoli. Ma, Carolyn, I'm doing it. <laughs> Setting my sights on the next time I'm going to see my beautiful grandbabies. Loving how proud I am about my wonderful, wonderful accomplishments that I'm so grateful for God for giving me the gifts to be blessed with. And I want all of us to share that with each other. I love y'all. I just, y'all made me, y'all gave me goosebumps today. I left work, those who know I'm a preschool teacher. And when I got in the car and the bing, 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 the first I'm like, oh God, what's going on? And I set the other aside because what overshadowed everything was what you all did. The love, the support, and I just love you. I just love you, and I'm going to keep you updated and continue to keep us in your prayers as we do y'all, and I love y'all. Have a good, 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 good night. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.